Well, the solar system has eight major planets. There are a number of smaller planetary bodies called dwarf planets. The term dwarf planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, following the discovery of IRIS. However, the term was first used in 1990. Currently, five are officially recognized, but many more may exist. Currently, five are officially recognized, but many more may exist. A dwarf planet is a planetary body that has enough mass to be round, orbits the sun directly, that is, it is not a moon, and is in a zone of similar objects that cross its path. This is actually a rather sloppy definition. It would be better to make such a category based on orbiting the sun and being below a certain mass, placing the cutoff point between planet and dwarf planet just below the mass of Mercury and Earth's moon. The dwarf planets in the solar system are found in the asteroid and Kuiper belts. The category of dwarf planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006 following the discovery of Iris. As a result, Ceres was upgraded from an asteroid to a dwarf planet, and Pluto was downgraded from a planet to a dwarf planet. There are currently five officially recognized dwarf planets, though there are probably many, many more. They are Ceres, Pluto, Iris, Makemake, and Hayume. There are another six almost certain dwarf planets. 2007 OR, Kron R. Senda, Orcus, 2002 MS, Salica, along with at least a dozen other highly likely prospects. Iris is the second largest dwarf planet next to Pluto. It does, however, have more mass than any other dwarf planet. Its discovery on January 5, 2005, by a team at Parlamar Observatory prompted reconsideration of Pluto's designation as a planet since. At the time, it was thought to be larger than Pluto, but it is 23 kilometers smaller than Pluto. Iris has one moon called Decimaya. Iris is clearly considerably smaller than Earth, both in terms of mass, radius, and gravity. However, its day is just a little longer than an Earth day. Iris's orbit is highly elliptical, ranging from about 38 times the distance of the Earth from the Sun, out to about 97 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. It also has an orbital period of 557 years and a very high inclination of 44 degrees. Pluto was discovered on February 18, 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh. Pluto was considered our solar system's ninth planet for 76 years before being downgraded to a dwarf planet in 2006. It is one of two dwarf planets that have been visited by probes. This occurred with the flyby of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on July 14, 2015. Pluto has five moons, Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, of which Charon is the largest. Pluto has a mass that is 0.22% that of Earth, a radius that is 18% that of Earth, and a surface gravity that is just a little over 6 one-hundredths of a g. The length of its day is 6.4 Earth days and has an average surface temperature of minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 230 degrees Celsius. That's just 44 degrees Celsius above absolute zero. The furthest point in Pluto's orbit from the Sun is at about 50 times the distance of the Earth from the Sun, while its closest point to the Sun is about 30 times the Earth's distance to the Sun. Its orbital period is 248 years, meaning that it has not made a complete orbit since its discovery. It also has a fairly high inclination towards orbit, particularly when compared to the eight major planets. Mira was discovered on December 28, 2004. It has two moons, Hyaika and Namaka. It is one of the fastest rotating objects in the solar system, causing it to have an oblong shape. Yumiya has a mass that is 0.066% that of Earth, a radius that is about a quarter that of Earth, and a surface gravity that is a little under 5 one-hundredths of a g. It has an extremely short day of only four hours. Humia's closest point to the Sun is about 35 times the distance of the Earth to the Sun, and its farthest point from the Sun is about 51 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. Its orbital period is 285 years and has an inclination of 28 degrees. Make-Make was discovered by a team at the Palomar Observatory on March 31, 2005. Its discovery helped prompt the reconsideration of the definition of a planet, resulting in the creation of the new dwarf planet classification. Make-Make has no known satellites. Make-Make's mass is 5 one-hundredth of a percent 
of Earth's mass. Its radius is about 20% that of Earth, with a surface gravity of about 5 tenths Earth's gravity. Big Bang's furthest point from the Sun is about 53 times the distance of the Earth from the Sun, and its closest point to the Sun is about 36 times the distance of the Earth from the Sun. It has an orbital period of 309 years and an inclination of 29 degrees. Ceres was discovered on January 1, 1801 by Gaius P. Piazzi. It was the first dwarf planet discovered and is the closest to Earth, though it was first classified as a planet, then downgraded to an asteroid, and then upgraded to a dwarf planet. It was the first dwarf planet to be visited and orbited by a spacecraft. Ceres has a radius that is 1.5 one hundredth of a percent that of Earth. Its radius is 11 percent that of Earth. Its surface gravity is 3 one hundredths of a g, and the length of its day is 9 hours. Ceres' furthest point from the Sun is about three times the distance of the Earth from the Sun, and its closest point is about two and a half times the distance of the Earth to the Sun. Its orbital period is 4.6 years, and the inclination of its orbit is 10.5 degrees. While the category of dwarf planet is new and could use a better definition, without it, the planet count would be 13 and counting. This new category provides a long-needed middle ground between asteroids and planets, while not being overly complicated. While some agree with Pluto's demotion, Ceres fans have something to be happy about. The category of dwarf planet is largely a welcomed addition to astronomy, but its definition could use some refinement. 